Michael Vickcast. Today I'm telling the story of how I tried to start a cult in my school. Let me set the scene for you. <laughs> it was in eighth grade. And we were doing a unit in English about propaganda. One of the books that we were allowed to read was called The Wave, which is about a teacher who initiates an experiment at a school in the hopes that it could help show why the Germans let Hitler and the Nazis rise to power in Germany. So we all know how great that's gonna be. Why would anyone be surprised by like the outcome of this book though? We all know how high schoolers like to get on the bandwagon. And that's no shade, okay? Um, I'm, I'm a freshman. Okay, so I'm looking at the Wikipedia. It apparently was based on a real teaching experiment by Ron Jones. So, um, why? I mean, it made for a great book, but like, that seems kind of terrifying. Segwaying into the Gordian Knot. I was bored in English and was like, why not make my own wave? What could go wrong? A lot. My friend came up with the name Gordian Knot. The knot tied by Gordius, king of Phrygia, held to be capable of being untied only by the future ruler of Asia and cut by Alexander the Great with a sword. I mean, I get that that was supposed to be clever, but it's kind of unfair. In my eighth grade mind, the Gordian knot was something that the Gordian knot could solve. We could help solve the world's issues by being in a community. But I guess it did have the double meaning of like once you're in, you're knotted in for life. And now to read through the ledger book of the Gordian Knot. Page one had the title. And then this was our motto. Unbreakable unity through community and harmony. <laughs> Here was the five virtues of the Gordian Knot. Unity, community, harmony, trust, and patience. Hey, editor Vicky here. I realized that I forgot to record this part. So anyway, these were the rules and expectations of the Gordian Knot. Number one, everyone is welcome. Number two, spread the word. Number three, always be mindful of the other members. Number four, live by the five virtues of the Gordian Knot. Number five, spread joy, not hate. No racism, sexism, etc. Number six, this is something that my friend added. No PDA. And number seven, which was the creepiest part of this ordeal. Once you join the knot, you may not leave. And I was trying to recruit people. I went to this one fourth grader on my bus trying to get people to join from his grade. Hey, would you like to join a community that's supportive? Some of them joined for shits and giggles. Most of the reactions I got were, what? I even kind of scared a new student. <laughs> he still calls me a cultist to this very day. I even made a group chat for the members of the Gordian Knot to communicate and collaborate on new projects. New projects never happened. None of the members were dedicated. And I wanted everyone to be equal in the Gordian Knot. But like... I kind of sort of became a huge dictator. I even asked my science teacher if he wanted to join and he seemed extremely scared of me. But I found that the members weren't very loyal and they weren't upholding of the Gordian Knot. One day, I brought these ribbons to school so that we could all time on our fingers and express our unity. But only three or four people wanted to wear them. Um, so what was the point? I found myself getting very upset at the members who wouldn't participate in the community's activity. So basically, I, um, I yelled at them a lot because they weren't using 
the group chat for relevant community things. They were talking about memes and things that don't matter to the community. Not to mention it was around that time where I developed my catchphrase for that year. It's not a cult, it's a community. This whole experiment was just very toxic to my brain. And I decided to end it. I disbanded the group chat and I released everyone from the shackles of a guardian knot. So I hope y'all enjoyed the story of how I tried to start a cult in my middle school. And if you want more stories, click subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. To myself, what a wonderful.